Hey guys, it is Gemma Forge. I'm so glad you're here today. Welcome to my channel. We talk here about a lot of Disney stuff, a lot of travel stuff, and a lot of other things that are going on in my life. So I am so glad you're here, and I hope that you'll stick around, that you'll like, that you'll subscribe, and that you'll become part of our wonderful YouTube fam. So today is going to be quick. Here is the deal. Uh, my um, last son to graduate high school is doing that today. So we've had people in town, and things have been crazy, and we've been doing a ton of different things, but I wanted to get a video out to you guys this week, and I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is food at Disney. I love eating food at Disney. Uh, all the time when we took the kids when they were little, we tried a couple of trips where we didn't actually sit down at restaurants, and I really missed it. Uh, Disney World vacation can be crazy, right? There's a lot of running around, there's a lot of waiting in line, and for me, there is something about sitting down at a table service restaurant and really enjoying just being together, and whether I'm with my family or like this trip for the Star Wars Half Marathon, if I'm with my girlfriends. Um, it's just a really special part of the vacation for me. So I'm going to talk about the different places where we ate. We ate at a few counter service places and a few table service places. And we also walked around Epcot and ate at the um, Flower and Garden Festival. So I want to talk about that a little bit as well. So let's get started with some particulars. I will let you know that a lot of places we ate did offer an annual pass holder or a Disney Vacation Club discount. So definitely check into that because it's worth seeing. I mean, 10%, that is not nothing, especially when you're talking about the price of some of the food at Disney. So definitely always ask if they have a discount if any of those things apply to you. So I'm going to jump right in. We're going to start with counter service. So the first counter service place where uh, we ate was Columbia Harbor House. That's located at the Magic Kingdom. It is in Liberty Square. This has been one of my favorites for years. I should tell you a little bit about our party as I get into this. Um, I'm a vegetarian, but I also eat fish. So I'm a pescatarian for those of you that know the lingo there. Um, Hazel and Sarah are just normal. And then Cindy is gluten free. So we were dealing with some particular uh, dietary needs. So I'm going to tell you with each restaurant how that went as well. So uh, I've been eating at Columbia Harbor House as long as we've been going to Disney. Um, I used to love the vegetarian, the lighthouse sandwich, but they got rid of that, which if you're listening Disney, please bring back the lighthouse sandwich. It was my favorite. Uh, but I also, since I eat fish, uh, love the um, tuna sandwich that they have there. I forget, I think it's called the Harbor House sandwich, uh, but really good, uh, was not disappointed. Um, just love the quality of, of the tuna is really good. It's, uh, the bread is really good and their um, chips there are really good as well. Uh, the, one of the things I love about Columbia Harbor House is you can go and eat upstairs and it's typically, there's not a lot of people up there. So even on a crazy busy day, it's a nice place, especially if it's hot, to get into the air conditioning. There's beautiful windows. There's actually, a lot of fun colonial um, little tips or not tips but colonial touches up there um, so you can look around and it's a really enjoyable experience especially for counter service because I still feel like you get that break from the craziness of the day so um, the lobster roll was what um, Sarah and Hazel had they both said it was really good um, Cindy did not have a good experience first of all the first uh, she ordered the salmon which was clearly on the gluten-free menu the first salmon they brought her was not gluten-free um, and she had had to mention that and then they brought her another salmon and the flavor on it was just not very good at all she ended up not even really eating her food so if you are gluten-free um, you may want to stay away from the salmon and you may want to double check when they bring your meal that it was actually gluten-free uh, she just has a sensitivity uh, she but if you had a severe allergy reaction that could be a problem so definitely be aware of that uh, but overall, we really enjoyed our meal here. Um, we did have to go find Cindy some other food, so that was kind of a bummer, but um, I loved my tuna sandwich. So I will definitely be back to Columbia Harbor House and give it um, two thumbs up unless you're gluten-free. So. The next place that I want to talk about that was counter service was Goods Food To Go. This is actually located at Old Key West Resort. Uh, we ate there twice. Once we just got fruit and drinks and then the second time we uh, poolside, we got some appetizers. We got some calamari, we got some conch fritters. Um, they ordered the uh, pulled pork nachos, which of course I did not eat, uh, but the food was really good. I felt like it was fresh. Uh, the service is a little slow and I find that to be true with most of 
of the counter service restaurants at the resorts tend to be a little slow. Um, I don't know if it's just that they don't staff appropriately or what. Um, we weren't in a hurry, so that didn't bother us at all. Um, and I felt like the food was really good quality and very fresh, and we really enjoyed our experience. And really, I mean, how can you not enjoy having drinks and appetizers poolside at Old Key West? So that was an awesome experience as well. Uh, when I was on my own, I ate at Contempo Cafe. Um, this is always a consistent choice for me. Uh, if it's a crazy day at the Magic Kingdom, I actually love to either walk or take the monorail over if you're just looking to get away from the craziness and have a counter service meal. You're right there looking up at the monorail. You're right by Chef Mickey's. The atmosphere is great. And the food is actually really good. Um, I had the Caesar salad with salmon um, and I had the Hefeweizen grapefruit beer, which is the only beer that I like. I don't like beer anywhere else and I don't like any other beer, but that grapefruit Hefeweizen is just so lovely. I got turned on to that at Beer Garden one year and now I get it everywhere at Disney, but um, I need to find out if I can get that here locally because I really like it. Uh, so definitely recommend the Contempo Cafe. They have some homemade chips there as well that are really good. We've stayed at the Contemporary multiple times and honestly, I've never had a bad meal there. Um, the service is really good. They're very friendly. They bring your food. You order at the counter and they bring your food to the table. Um, and I mean, how can you go wrong? Again, you're watching the monorail go overhead while you're eating your food. So great experience there. Would definitely recommend it. I guess you could call the Flower and Garden Festival booths counter service um, because I mean they are uh, the food and and honestly every time I have been at Disney World during a festival be that food and wine or flower and garden I don't think I've ever had anything at the booths that disappointed me I think they really go out of their way to make really high quality offerings so if you're there during one of those festivals really consider not doing big sit-down meals when you're at Epcot and just doing those booths um, Sarah said it was like a run dream because that's what we did after we ran the half marathon and it, it was truly amazing um, we had uh, scallops in Canada we had the lemon scone in the UK we had frushi in Japan um, I had a tomato tart in France I mean we just ate and drank our way and we spent hours and you know you eat a little bit and then you take a break and you walk around and eat a little more um, it was the perfect way to recover from the race so I can't think of any of the food that we ate that I would say I wouldn't get that again um, and especially I think it's good to know as a vegetarian um, there were lots of options the only fish I ate really were uh, the scallops but if you were a full-on vegetarian you would still have plenty of great food to eat if you just did the booze um, at Flower and Garden Festival so that gets to Two thumbs up from me as well. Gosh, we had really good experiences. Um, okay, now let's move on to the sit-down restaurants where we ate. Um, the first night when we got there, we ate at Frontera Cochina. And honestly, I had heard mixed reviews about this restaurant. I was not sure if I would like it. Um, I'm kind of picky. I lived in Texas for 15 years. When it comes to Mexican food, I have standards. So um, I had an open mind. I loved the exterior of the restaurant when we got in there. Beautiful glassware. Um, the service was amazing and y'all the food was really good I would say this was one of the best meals I've ever had at Disney if you were a vegetarian the vegetarian enchiladas were to die for and um, especially at Mexican restaurants sometimes they call something vegetarian and really they just throw peppers and onions um, but this had potatoes and zucchini and lots of great vegetables. The sauce was amazing. The tortillas were amazing. Uh, we got the guacamole, which was to die for. We got the queso, which is a little different because they serve it with uh, corn tortillas instead of chips. But then we had chips with the guacamole. I just I felt like the whole meal from beginning to end was, was truly um, a great experience. I would highly recommend this restaurant. And it's one of those restaurants that honestly I wish was up the street because I would eat there on a regular basis. Um, so definitely, I again, giving that two thumbs up. Great experience at Front Frontera Cochina. Loved that restaurant. Um, is it Rick Bayless? I think it's Rick Bayless that is the uh, the head chef there. And oh, just, just amazing. Uh, Tony's Town Square. Now this is where we chose to eat to kind of carb up the night before the race. Um, most runners will try to do a pasta dish. Um, I have a very sensitive stomach when I run, so I never go too exotic the night before the race because I don't want any surprises on race morning. Um, and we try to only have a little, like if we're going to have a glass of wine, we just don't go too crazy on uh, the night before a half marathon. Uh, but this was a solid experience. Um, my meal, uh, well, Tony's is always fun because it's got the lady in the tramp atmosphere you're right there on Main Street. So the atmosphere gets an A plus 
right away. Uh, but I would say the service was was fairly good. Um, I loved our server, but there was a little bit of inconsistency with when the food came, which always annoys me when you're with a group because you don't want to start eating and then your food is getting cold and your friend is sitting there. Um, I had the salmon, which was excellent. Uh, Hazel had the margarita pizza, which she said was good, not excellent, but good. And Sarah had the spaghetti and meatballs, which she thought was very good. The caprese salad and the Caesar salad were both excellent. And I would recommend doing that. Um, Sarah and I, she ordered the caprese and I ordered the Caesar and then we split. Um, that was a great way to start the meal off. And we had dessert as well. So um, again, uh, I really enjoyed my meal. However, gluten-free, Number one, it came late to the table, which is a problem, like I said. But then number two, uh, Cindy said the crust was just not really done correctly. It was it was um, not fully cooked, um, which again was probably because they rushed it. So she ate it and she said it was fine, but it could have been much better if it had been prepared better. So that's just another tip. Um, if you go to Tony's and you're gluten-free, um, just kind of keep that in mind as well. I'm not sure it would be the best choice for you, um, but we did have a good experience and I, I really do enjoy eating at that restaurant. And it is nice that now you can have a glass of wine there. So I'm going to give that two thumbs up as well. Now, these last two places um, I ate on my own. The first is the Top of the World Lounge. Now, this is a tricky one to review because you have to be a Disney Vacation Club member to eat there. Uh, but I had the pretzel bread with the cheese dipping sauce, just an appetizer, which is really all they serve up there. It's just a variety of appetizers. And I think there's a couple of desserts on the menu as well. I'll put the links to this to the menu for the Top of the World Lounge and all of the restaurants uh, down below in the description. Uh, but uh, the wine was amazing. The service was amazing. And really how can you go wrong? I mean, you're looking out on all of, you know, the Magic Kingdom area resorts and the Magic Kingdom itself, and you're on the 16th floor of, of uh, Bay Lake Tower. You go up on a private elevator. Uh, if you are a Disney Vacation Club member or if you know someone who is, get yourself up there because it is a super fun experience. And they also have water and, and so forth available, so you really don't even have to order anything if you just want to hang out up there. But I can vouch for the food is, is actually excellent. And then finally, on the last morning, I had room service at the... Uh, Bay Lake Tower, and I would say that it was very fresh. It was delivered very quickly. The service was very good. Um, of course, it's expensive. It's room service. I mean, I paid $30 for a very basic breakfast, but it came really hot, which with room service can be a problem. And because it came with, I for $30, I had a full breakfast, toast, fruit, and a full pot of coffee. It, it, it felt like a, um, it's, I'm not gonna say it was a good value, that's ridiculous, but it was the morning that I was leaving. I didn't have a lot of time. And you know, before you travel, you really wanna have a decent, healthy meal, and I didn't wanna eat fast food. So I was actually really happy with the room service there. Of course, I would never do that if all five of us were traveling in my family, because that would be ridiculous. But just for one person, um, I thought it was a, a great experience. So I would absolutely do that again. So that's it for my dining reviews. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you will um, go on your own food adventures when you're at Disney. Understand it's not just your old you know, theme park fair. Disney really has some great dining experiences and I hope you'll take advantage of them. I'd love for you to comment below if there is a place that I mentioned that you loved or maybe that you didn't love. Um, I would love to hear that as well. And where is your favorite place to eat at Disney? So I hope you have fun planning and I am looking forward to talking to you more in the future about all of our Disney plans and our trip coming up, which is coming up really soon. I'll talk to you soon and I hope you have a magical day.